Yo, 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 it's your boy Craig coming at you on oh, Fantastic Friday, yeah, yeah, featuring Binding of Isaac, Rebirth for the PS444, yeah, um, yeah, so we still haven't got any word from YouTube about my black video, so, of uh, Call of Duty, so I still don't want to release that video and have, um, the next episode be like, what? What happened? Where's the other episode? Where's the other chapter? Like, yeah, I didn't want that. So we're going to be playing some Binding of Isaac today. <laughs> Sorry, it's not, you know, this is the only thing I can think of that I could play right quick and not have like a story to it that I know I'm going to have to keep playing over and over. Well, not over and over. But yeah, you get my point. Anyways, I am not very good at this game. You guys will figure out when you guys see it. I haven't played this in a while anyways. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get down to business to beat this game. Alright, so here we are. We went to New Run. We're going to go random and see who we get. Oh, okay. So, pretty much she just has a lot of HP and this heart fills up her HP, I believe. Anyways, the object of the game, if you guys haven't played, is to get down to the bottom floor and, um, I don't know if I should say what we're going to have to do. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm just going to, what the fluff? Oh, heck's no. Huh. You know what? This might be good for, like, if we make it to the indie box. If we make it to the end boss like this. You know what? This isn't bad. I'll take it. Alright. I can deal with this. I just have to make sure I keep an eye on myself and... <laughs> and try to attack these stupid spiders without getting attacked. Whoo! Uh-oh. There's another one. Alright. No! Crap! See? You had to have, like, field of vision. Which my field of vision is kind of kind of sucking kind of lacking but pretty much just stay away I'm pretty sure like distance with this one is, is boss so pretty much I will try not to be all right so here here's a little trick you guys see this darker rock is different from all the rest the one right here the one we're facing put bottom down blow it up you always get something from it and we got two soul hearts sweet yeah that's a little trippy if you guys didn't know <laughs> that's like I don't even know how many how many tips I can give you because I really don't know this game very well <laughs> but yeah pretty much the only reason I would be um, editing this playthrough is if the video is fluff too long <laughs> which I might die before I reach in game but who knows and if I farm too much I'm probably gonna end up farming some areas to get the maximal points because you pretty much want to clear every floor get the maximal amount of stuff you can get before you get to the later stages where pretty much everything kills you fluff you I hate these things all right all right all right, cool. Just kill your own guy. Just stay there. No. It's... All right. I can't. I don't want those late fluff. <laughs> I think we're on normal. By the way, yeah, we're probably on normal, which is all right because I'm not very good, as you guys can tell. <laughs> but you know, I probably have one of the items that yeah isn't the best <laughs> well it kind of is pretty good <sighs> when we get down to like the la later stages you guys will find out why this is good i'll explain why this is pretty good i don't know why i'm cleaning the fire i ain't walking over the spikes and getting damaged fluff that but yeah cleaning the fires are pretty good because you can get items so is poop <laughs> poop is good to clear because same reason you can get items and obviously chests have something in them depends what and 
different there's different colors there's red chest there's that gray chest that you saw and there are golden chests that requires keys red chests can be random sometimes sometimes it gives you items sometimes it gives you enemies to fight i don't know what the fluff this does but we're gonna try it damage up all right cool yeah you know what I, i'll take that anything that has damage up would definitely work with this tear I wonder if you can like actually get exploding thing. No, that one. Oh, fluff, troll bomb. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for those things because they will follow you. And obviously, you gotta see the boss room right there. Uh, go in there if when you ready to fight the boss, aka when you pretty much cleared everything out, or have you know you don't really need anything else. There is one. When we get down to it, there is one stage for you. If you go, you can defeat the boss at almost every stage and go out besides one stage. And I'll show you guys when that happens. Oh, and I forgot to also mention the item rooms, the little crown on the map. The item rooms, uh, the first one is a freebie, it's always unlocked, but the rest, you need keys. And. The I of the um, room down here that this room is a store. I only have seven go, and I don't think it'd be worth wasting one key when I can get a guaranteed item uh, next floor. So we're just gonna go to the boss. I hate this one. Where is you, Pinhead Larry, baby? All right, there you are. Uh, it, at least I don't have to get close to any of these. But I also had to keep an eye out where I am at all times <laughs> and kill him okay that wasn't bad all right so here we go this this room right here you there's a chance to pop at at the end of each boss fight and it's called the devil room you go in and there's sometimes there's red chests in here sometimes they're oh crap you don't want to do that you don't want to walk out but yeah you pretty much sacrifice your health at the top right here you sacrifice your health depending this amount one two and you get to pick up an item but you lose that health permanently unless you know you get like a health up item but yeah that's pretty much the basics pretty much all, <laughs> all i know i can only be helping uh, i can only help you with the basics as far as all the items what the items do it's just going to be a surprise all right this one obviously shows you the world so let's just use it it's R1, <laughs> and these secret rooms are awesome. Sometimes, sometimes it just gives you nothing. Well, it gives you something, but sometimes it just gives you crap. Sometimes you have boss fights to fight. Sometimes it's, it's different, I guess. Yeah. I just got coins. Um, 15 is usually what you want to go to a store because store has items and 15 is the max i believe <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> pretty much also i'm going to try to keep this gameplay under 20 minutes one reason is because youtube has the thing where if you have upload too many videos over 20 minutes it counts I am ass spam and <laughs> trying to lower my spam crowd counter thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna watch the time and if need be, I uh, edit some stuff out. But right now, pretty much everything I I'm actually talking, and it's pretty much about the game and what's important about the game and stuff. So <laughs> I remember this, but I don't remember. Oh, I, I always forget to use her ability because it heals you. I don't think I want this, but we're gonna. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> it, it's a suicide bomb. You just blow it up. It could be helpful when you don't have bombs and you want to open the area, but for the most part, no. Just. just you're better off just <laughs> sticking to what you have, unless you have something that you want to get rid of so i never really talked about you see that um 
item top left this one you can't really but the left item every room you clear you see the green it goes up for every room you clear i don't think i want to go to the store right anyway but yeah pretty much you what you want to do is <laughs> every room you clear it charges it up and when it's full that means you can use it you are able to use it right now we're not able to use it because it's not full and also when you beat the game once you get to unlock stronger bosses <laughs> version of the bosses you fight i think you, if you beat it once and oh yeah one thing that it took me and a couple of people a couple of my friends to know is if you are playing on the ps4 version i'm not sure about any other version but if you play on a ps4 version go to your second save file and use that because you can't you uh, if you want like the trophies and stuff because if you won't be given it if it's in the first one i'm not exactly sure why that is but i know that it's like glitch they could have fixed it but eh, i don't know <laughs> to so to be sure just go to your your second save files and play on that one yeah make sure to use your, when you need the health because you you have to fight in these mandatory rooms more, more than likely unless you have bombs and you can skip them but I like to fight them because sometimes they give you things like that and give you that. So this up here, arcade. That's actually a pretty good thing. Um, this is a fortune teller machine. Sometimes it gives you terror crowds, but more than likely it just gives you like a fortune like that. Yeah. <laughs> this one is a machine that usually gives you money for hearts. It's like like ouch and it gives you like money and this you just put it in and you get something random or nothing it's, it's slots you're playing slots pretty much so this is probably where i would um cut out just me doing this all right sometimes when you overload it it can happen randomly whenever you overload it it just blows up and give you some things sometimes it's good things sometimes it's just like, crap more than likely it's crap, but, <laughs> you know, it still can be good. These things run away from you. <laughs> so this terror thing, you know, I'm not really showing much in the game when I'm doing this. <laughs> like, in the beginning, before I got this terror up thing, um, you guys saw me shooting tears from my eye. That's pretty much how you shoot for most of the the children there is the um i don't think it's the blue baby the devil baby <sighs> i forgot its name oh these things batteries charges this for the record two clubs i think this is keys oh bombs bombs all right <laughs> we're learning actually i kind of want keys but since we have access to bombs you can we can go looking for secret rooms. Secret rooms are kind of easy to find. The super secret rooms are a little bit harder, but they're kind of not terribly difficult. I don't know what the $3 bill gives you. <laughs> but normally when you see like two rooms connecting, like down here, you see on the mini map right there, down there, there's a room connecting this room and this room, but this room you can't access this way, so you will not be able to find a secret room that way. A little tip. Let's, let's just go in the store. Alright, so donations. It's pretty much you can blow this up whenever you want but you had to put coins in when you put coins in it's go cool. and and it'll be forever there and yeah like you can pick up items when you have them now but yeah I pretty much went down with the basics so I am just going to <laughs> go around and killing some things all right guys this is the boss
All right, so this I honestly was not planning to make it this far, but I'm just gonna upload this video as I'm just gonna edit the parts that are unnecessary, like me farming, and however long the video is, is however long it's gonna be. Mom's underwear. Ooh, range up. Actually, range does nothing for us since we have this tear that <laughs> we can just pretty much. Right. All right, here is a battle zone. The only way you can have this open is if you have full health. There's also one with a skull on it. And you, this, these are the swords you see on the minimap. Swords, if you see a skull, and you, you must have at least, you only can have one red heart. You can have as many soul hearts and dark hearts as, as you want, but you can only have one regular heart to enter a boss room. But these, you have to have full health. And then you go in, you can decide if the chest is worth it. I'm not going to waste a key on that, so. But if you open the chest, you have to fight. Alright, this little dude wants some of my keys. And I, I only have one key, so I am not going to give him keys. And you guys can explode things. I forgot to um do that in the arcade, but you guys can explode things and it just gives you items and stuff but I, I never really did that in the arcade like a dumb dumb because <laughs> I forgot about that part like I said it's been a while since I played this oh yeah these things <laughs> it's pretty how is that I was about to say how is that not hitting him you guys saw that that was right on top of him pretty much this is easy mode from here on out with this this thing is just this tier is just amazing <laughs> you don't even have to move well all right you have to move but for the most part you don't have to move because <laughs> like yeah <laughs> you just have to make sure your body is safe and this terror just goes around killing everything uh, and here's a mini boss room i guess not really a mini boss room but everyone would you um you can find the boss. And pills give you random effects. I got, it could be good, bad. I got a luck up, so that was a good one. You can get bad ones like range down and stu silly ones like lemon party. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So yeah, y y these special. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to <laughs> hit everything with both because that's kind of... I forgot to check for secret rooms. All right, we're going to check this one. Yeah, there we go. Because it, it was a good chance since it connected to two rooms. Super secret rooms. I'm not going <laughs> to really check because uh, I don't like to waste my bombs. This is not a boss. This is just a a small version of the boss all right we have 26 coins let's see what we can get i don't think i like anything that's offered here so i'm just gonna put my money in the bank oh yeah when that happens that means you can't put any more money in the bank <laughs> you know what might as well try this then what what is this oh it's one of those it randomly teleports you to somewhere or... eh no I'm getting my heart thing back. Thank you. That was a waste of 15 gold. <laughs> you know, I could have, I could have saved my um. I, if I was thinking, I could have saved my key and bombed the thing, but I didn't think I could have bombed this wall and it wouldn't open the store without me wasting a key. But you know, <laughs> I hardly think. Dude. All right, there you go. Let's see what this. I found pills. That's a neutral one. It does nothing. <laughs> it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt. This item. You know what? Since we have Mag. Wait, what? I forgot her name. But since we have her, we can just like do this and then just heal. <laughs> you know what? This is bomb it. Eh. Sometimes it gives you like a blood pack that gives you HP up and stuff. 
which, you know, HP up is always a good thing. Well, depends what kind of build you have. Because sometimes HP up can hurt you. Alright, so this boss is just like riding around on his meat horse. It's Meat Boy riding on a horse, his, his um, toy horse thing, and he can fly off screen and drop bombs. Luckily, those are not the ones that follow you. Do this there to go. Woo, that one almost hit me. Alright, there we go. We got him off his high horse. Now he's just going to follow us. Which is going to be annoying because we have this stupid <laughs> tear. This is where the um one tier would come to hand, like any other tier but this one. This boss is not very good with this tier, <laughs> as you guys can see. All right, there you go. That wasn't bad. A cube of meat. If you get four of these cubes, um, you form meatball and meat boy, and he goes around. So this is the floor I was talking about where if. You go into the boss room, you cannot go back. So keep that in mind. Take note if you guys want to. <laughs> I know how late I am playing this game. I know this game's been out for like a long time and they even gave it free for PlayStation Network users, but you know. It's still it's still a fun game to play from time to time. Alright. I'm just, I should have kept some poop in the way. Because they can't really hit you when there's poop um, in the way. Oh, yeah, use some health. You can get some health. Nothing from the poops. All right. <clears throat> Woo. This is a room. <laughs> This one, this tier can be very OP if you got, uh, uh, when you hear that, just move around because mom's hands, those, those are mom's hands. They will fall down and come get you, damage you, and then take you to another room. So you don't want that, especially when you have process, um, progress, because <laughs> that would be annoying to have to deal with. Like, oh, I made it. I almost finished this room. Oh crap, mom's hand hit me. Oh crap, now I have to start this room over. Yeah, that happened a couple of times to me. <laughs> so yeah, this is another room where it's bosses and we, we actually fought this boss, but now there's three in the room because you know, we're on a lower level and the rooms get harder as we go down. But nothing we can't take care of, handle. All right, so I'm gonna go this way and see what's on this side. Yeah, I think I might actually just go down. I don't think I really need any other. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh yeah, when you pause, it, you get to see your stats. I and all the items you have, my stuff. Yeah, we could do with some more damage. Damage is always good, especially with this tier. But as long as you can multitask and look at yourself while looking at the enemies, you should be good with this tier. If you can't do that, then this tier might not be for you. <laughs> uh, Wherever the thing I picked up in the first room. Oh, almost. And I don't think this tear is for me because, like, I have in trouble. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. I don't know what the fluff this is. Anti-gravity. Um. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I always, there's, there's always online guides if you guys need help. I usually go, um, use an online guide when... I'm playing this game because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we got another pill. Let's see what we get. You all wizard. 
All right, that would just mess up your shots. It really, <laughs> it make your shots go diagonal instead of not straight. Like if you have regular tiers, but since we don't have regular tiers, it, it's not gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna do that, blow this up, get some more, and just keep doing this. Oh, here's a dark heart. This is the first dark heart. We always got soul hearts. I don't want that. <laughs> I forgot what that does, but I don't think I want that. But a dark heart, when you when the dark heart leaves, you see the dark heart up there when it um when it's get taken away, you just it just explodes. It does massive damage to everything in the room. I'll just do that <laughs> because here's the boss, Isaac. So here's mom. Pretty much, we just fight mom. <laughs> She summons enemies that can be annoying to deal with. And then you just want to hit her. <laughs> Pretty much a simple boss. But you, like I said, especially if you have this tier, you gotta watch out for when she stomps on you. Like any any boss in pretty much any game, you want to keep moving. And see, there you go. She, done, she took that heart away from me and it does damage to everything. All right, we pretty much got mom. We killed her. There we go. All right, so I forgot what room this is called, but it's pretty much you get a free item. This when you get two of those um white little hearts, it gives you one whole health up of health up. But if you leave the floor when you have one of those, like just one, then it gives you um. A heart but if you lose it you lose it <laughs> so you pretty much want to when you find one you want to beat the stage and go back unless it's mom then you know you just hope you don't take damage when you have it on <laughs> so here we are we're in the womb I don't think this is something like and I think <laughs> it's been a while but I'm pretty sure you had to um, beat the game the first time to unlock this and yeah the, is it this room? I think this is where you start taking double the damage. Like, if an enemy does a half a heart, usually on the normal floors, they do um, one full heart on in the womb and onwards. So, that's also something you need to watch out. And let's see what we get here. Uh, I forgot what that does. <laughs> All right, let's get. Oh, stupid! These things are annoying. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the meat block, block like any not almost, almost anything that surrounds you is able to block damage for you. For um, like if something shoots something at you and the things in the way, it blocks damage for you. So that's that's pretty awesome to have something black damage but what's ideal when you, especially when you're new is to there's like a um shield i forgot what it's called but it, it it um has the damage that any enemy do does to you it's uh, especially great when you get down to these later stages where everything does double damage so if you find that usually in one of those those no rooms with the cross on it the ones we enter before we enter the womb usually those have um not usually i should say that if you find them it's more than likely to be in one of those rooms you know what we have 18 bombs let's see if this is a secret room super secret room nope all right usually the super secret room is not connecting any rooms together So pretty much, <laughs> I really don't know what else to say about the game. If you guys haven't played the game, you guys definitely should. It's pretty fun, especially since it's random. It's like a new um game every time you play because you always get different combination of stuff. Sometimes, yeah, of course, it's always more OP stuff than others, but for the most part. You get different combination every time and it's pretty
pretty interesting to see what combination you get next time. So replay value is very high and pretty much if you want to do everything, replay value it's it, very, very good. These things, if you break the chain, they come loose and chase you. You don't want that with this tier, so pretty much you shouldn't really have to deal with that. All right. <clears throat> One more room and I can, uh-oh. <laughs> Where's my, okay, there is. I'm paying so much attention to my, myself because I don't want to do take damage. I know there's rooms, floors I didn't clear, but honestly, I I, I think I'm OP enough that no matter what, we 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 will rock this. So here's a boss. <laughs> I think I fought this boss once. Where are you? Ouch. All right. Ugh, those, that, where is my? Oh, there it is. Oh, I almost. Oh, I got hit. That's all. Please, please, no more. And, and as you can imagine, spikes do do a lot of damage. <laughs> spikes hurt. Spikes are bad. HP up, sweet. Oh, so hard. All right. One more time, I do a big decision time, and I'm pretty much, I'm pretty, yeah, I know where I'm going to go with this build. Oh, so I forgot to mention that sometimes you have random um, effects, different rooms, some rooms you can't see the map, some rooms you can't um, see... I forgot what the other rooms, there are like different disadvantages depending on sometimes you can get. In this room, we got the one where we can't see HP, which is very, it's a, it's a nuisance. Oh, look up, sweet. It's, it's very, it's, it's a pain when you're this high up because you don't know how much damage you're taking and you don't know how much health you have left. So... You gotta be cautious. I usually try to beat these rooms as fast as I can because without seeing my HP. Well, where's my where's my tear? Please, there it is. Come down. I hate these things. Warm. No, oh, fluff you. Oh, let's use that. Pretty sure that. <laughs> That that will come in handy. All right, please no more. I hate these. I hate the things that go underground. And yes, these are bosses. I might just blow myself out of this room. I have, yeah, love that. I'm just going. to See, this is. You can just blow yourself out, and so you don't have to deal with some rooms. You can't do that. Love that. <laughs> oh, double the keys. I'm not dealing with this. I am not dealing with this room. I guess I'm gonna... No! Fluff you! Alright. Let's get this boss down. Alright, so... Without his little warm buddies chasing me, this this boss is nothing. Yeah. This chest, you just blow up. You have to blow it up. That's the only way you can open it. Two key room is a dice room. Oh, I thought it was a dice room. But it's just a poop room. That's kind of crappy. And also the bright, the really dark red 
flames shoot things at you if you guys left leave it to be it'll just shoot and it's really annoying please oh, fuck i got hit all right where are you there you are all right cool red chest Oh, sweet, we got flies. I really want that, but I don't have any. What does the fool do? I think it teleports you to our room. I don't think I want that. <laughs> I really wish I could see my HP right now. You all wizard, that does nothing. I might as well not even put that on. All right. What do we get? Please, health. Nope, all right. Oh, it's not waste of hell. Well, there we go. We died. Eh, it is what it is. If you guys want to see more gameplay of this, just leave so in the comment section below. Other than that, I think I think that that will be it because this is going on for uh, 40 minutes. I don't know how long the video will be, but yeah, <laughs> a lot of stuff to take in consideration with this and. If you don't have no more tail shots, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Anyways, like I said, if you guys want more of this, you guys can just leave a comment in the section and I'll play more of it. So I wanna thank you guys for stopping by chilling out, Max Relaxing all cool. If you guys like this video, make sure you sh subscribe, share it, like it, uh, um comment in this comment section below, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys learned something. Um I guess it was kind of educational. I talked a lot about the game and uh, how it works, but I don't. I just went over the basic. I didn't go into details or anything because I honestly don't know the details of all of it. But yeah, hope you guys did learn something, and make sure you guys stay classy. And I'll see you all later. Goodbyes. <laughs>